that these liberties are the gift of God. Then, in front of you, Abraham Lincoln. He rests on a seat of dignity, a throne of authority, the face of equality, solemn, dignified, resolved. His majestic phrase reads, with malice towards none, with charity to all. This is a temple of freedom. Because they are forever enshrined as heroic monuments, we may miss the point. We might forget that they too were simple men. A failed general in Washington, a heartbroken leader in Jefferson, and a melancholy Abraham Lincoln. But even before that, they were young men, unsure of their future. Look around you and look to the world past the monuments. Where are the heroes today? Where are the Washingtons, the Jeffersons, the Lincolns of this generation? Today, America finds itself at a crossroads. Faith, hope, and charity. The principles our founding fathers used to build our nation are growing dim in the garish light of America today. We simply must remember who we were, who we've been, who we can be, not what we've allowed ourselves to become. America is the land of opportunity, a place where dreams and imagination are brought to life. Americans were the first in flight. Americans built buildings as high as the clouds. We first called buildings skyscrapers here. It was an American who made that giant leap for mankind. It's Americans that will solve the world's problems yet again. Look around you again. Where is the next George Washington? Where is the next Thomas Jefferson? They are here. They are standing among us. They are our children. Unless we know our past, unless we teach our children the examples of excellence, unless we challenge ourselves personally to be better than what we currently are, we will not grow the next great monument. America, now is your moment. Yesterday is gone. The greatest American generation is merely the one that steps up to the seemingly insurmountable challenge. This is our challenge. This is our goal. This is the American destiny. With charity towards those who struggle, faith in a God that loves and guides us, and hope in the truth of who we really are, we begin today to pledge to restore honor and the promise of America. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and join me in the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic 